Scheer went bonkers over President Donald Trump's nominee for the Supreme Court. She went on a tirade, dropping the F-bomb and claiming Trump's causing the end of the world and Brett Kavanaugh is his Darth Vader. The 72-year-old entertainer said, LBGT rights, abortion rights, screwed, gone. Black people will lose the right to vote. That's when Sheer got a nasty surprise you'll love. What in the world is wrong with Sheer? We all know she is a hardcore leftist and a proud member of the incredibly stupid resist campaign, but her out of control and hard to understand rant on President Trump and his nominee to Scottis, Judge Brett Kavanaugh, is off the hook. Breitbart reports, pop superstar Sheer has claimed that people's lives will never be the same if Judge Brett Kavanaugh is confirmed to the United States Supreme Court. In her latest string of all caps tweets filled with emojis, the Mamma Mia! star claimed that Kavanaugh's confirmation would lead to the repression of LGBT people, an overturn of Roe v. S. Wade, people of color losing the right to vote, and a situation where Trump would have immunity from criminal prosecution. Yeah, we can't make this stuff up, folks. According to Scheer, it's the end of the world as we know it, so buckle up for her tweet, which proves the snowflakes are completely out of their minds. As Breitbart pointed out, it's filled with emojis, so we'll need to decipher it. Scheer tweeted, Kavanaugh equals all LGBT rights taken away, women losing choice and contraception, people of color lose voting rights, King Trump gets power to change old laws and make new laws by overriding slash bypassing Congress, Trump never getting indicted for crimes. Our lives will never be the same. We're screwed. King, Trump, is a f asterisking train wreck and nuts. Wow, there's a lot of crazy to unpack there. So Scheer is claiming due to one Scottish pick Trump will proceed to take away all rights from gay and black people. Trump will proceed to abolish all abortion and contraceptive rights. Trump will also make new laws, get rid of other laws like a king. Then, of course, Scheer claims Trump's AF asterisking train wreck and nuts. Apparently, Scheer has never heard of transference. The train wreck who is nuts is really Scheer. But I digress. Breitbart added, the 72-year-old pop icon, who helped fundraise for Hillary Clinton's unsuccessful 2016 campaign, is known for her barely coherent tweets raging against Trump and the administration, having previously described the president as a cancer ravaging our nation. She later apologized for those remarks. Last month, Scheer warned Democrats that to win a majority in Congress they must stop the Gestapo tactic of ICE and impeach President Donald Trump. She now sees young people as the future of the Democratic Party, even if that means people will have to die. The Democrats f asterisk eat up so bad in their message, and how old the leadership is, Scheer said in an interview with Billboard last year. You've got to pray that old people die before young people can get involved with the party. So Scheer is praying old people will die? Yes, the elderly singer needs mental help, and she is in for a couple of nasty surprises. Americans across the country responded to Scheer's incoherent tweet like Michael J. Fell who posted, You've just got to stop listening to the progressive party Pravda propaganda. Take some of your meds, sit down, breath deeply and repeat it's just my imagination over and over again until this episode passes. Scheer, like her good friend Rosie O'Donnell, has become completely unhinged. They have drunk the Kool-Aid coming out of the mainstream media. To actually say blacks will lose the right to vote. This is a woman who needs a time out from MSNBC and CNN. The Democrats are so desperate that they support these celebrities spouting nonsense. Scheer's nasty surprise is the confirmation of Judge Brett Kavanaugh, which is 100% in the bag, but also President Donald Trump will win re-election in 2020. Poor Scheer. Six more Again, years to go. She and Rosie will be roommates in a posh mental hospital somewhere along the California coast. Nice day. Nice day.